This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! What kind of beer you like? Bud Light? Fuck that shit! Pabst Blue Ribbon! We're gonna talk about the $6 billion man tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain. Uh, we're going to talk about some prick called Dylan Mulvaney, ladies and gentlemen. He's some uh, guy, uh, some uh, degenerate pervert, who thinks he's a 13-year-old girl and dresses up uh, as a girl and runs around playing with dolls and uh, all this kind of stuff. Now, normally these kind of people, you would just sort of put them at the past year and maybe uh, put them in a mental institution if they got out of hand. You know, if they went near children, you'd keep them away, ladies and gentlemen. But no, um, one of the biggest, um, Anheuser-Busch, one of the biggest alcohol companies in America has decided to make him the spokesman for Bud Light, which is a beer drunk um, by rednecks who maybe are a bit overweight, but possibly like myself, and also women in America would drink Bud Light. So basically, um, the majority of the American population has said no to this, and six billion dollars has been lost from the uh, the register of um, uh, Anheuser Busch's uh, stock has, got, has plummeted by six billion dollars, which makes Dylan Mulvaney the six billion dollar man. Yes, which is a oddly pay on the famous TV show from the seventies, the sixteen, the, sorry, the six million dollar man. So you know. Uh, it's an interesting story, uh, and if you've looked into the case, obviously Dylan Mulvaney has been pushed by the um, kind of, you know, Biden regime as a kind of example of trans and everything. I mean, obviously, I think, you know, I mean, everybody I know within the trans community is not interested in, in all this crazy agenda, the way they're pushing it on people, the way they're pushing it on schools. Most gay people I know are not supportive of it. Um, you know, uh, most of them share the views of gays against groomers. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're perfectly reasonable people. So the majority of people I feel in the, uh, in the LBGT community, at least the people I know, are, are not supportive of this kind of insanity, the way this agenda is being pushed, and also the way it's being pushed on children. They all think that's as crazy as everybody else. So we can't label the community like that because the community is basically uh, like normal and has common sense like most people, ladies and gentlemen. So it just seems to be the globalists have come along and stolen this agenda and have, you know, um, decided to promote it. And I believe it's actually to do a disservice to the trans community and the LBG community. I think that's what they're really up to. Um, so for whatever reason, they have promoted this Dylan Mulvaney and he's become a spokesperson. He's done other kind of um, product endorsements for like Nike and Tampax. Obviously, you know, you should go check out his little Tampax ad. It's just ridiculous online. You know, you'll get a few laughs out of that, ladies and gentlemen. He's 75 of being a girl and I've been carrying around tampons and pads for the past two months, but I've actually never opened one up, so let's do it, woohoo! I thought the letter stood for small, medium, and large based on the size of your Barbie pouch, but after a Google, I found out it's actually the level of your flow. So they're super, regular, and light. I guess my question is, which one do I carry around, the super? Because maybe if you have a light flow, you can still use a super? I don't know. You are getting sleepy. Now for the real magic, I've got a glass of water in the tampon. I almost put red food coloring in there, but I thought that might be too much. And we're gonna see how this works. How long does it take to get to this? This one looks like it would do the job. I feel like I'm in science class. Oh no. Okay, the pad didn't expand, so maybe this is for a light flow? I just don't know. That hasn't uh, caused as big a stir as what's happened with uh, Bud Light, but there's been a huge reaction. You know, you've had, um, you know, various people react in different ways. Many conservative figures like King Rock, he got a whole bunch of Bud Light and then shot it up with a, uh, you know, machine gun in his backyard. <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all of you and be as clear and concise as possible. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. 
So yeah, there's been a very interesting reaction to that. But I think you know the fact that the stock has plummeted by six billion dollars, which you know I think in anyone's book has got to hurt, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, you know, it speaks for itself as to whether it was a good idea or not. Um, apparently, the woman who did it, uh, there was some kind of new vice president, Jewish vice president at um, Anheuser Busch, who thought this was a good idea. I imagine she'll get the sack now, but maybe not. You know what I mean? Um, uh, David Thrussell in the No Go Show said something interesting. You know, he said this. This is more than about more than about money this kind of thing you know what i mean like because obviously the globals have all the money in the world already they have trillions of dollars if you've seen collectively they're trillionaires the globalist class so they can pretty much they have a bottomless pit so if they lose six billion so what they'll make it up you know in a few years or whatever or someone will give them a donation or you know whoever whoever the hell it works so you know i, I think it's it's again it's more about social engineering it's more against you know, pushing this kind of, you know, globalist um, you know, agenda, um, which I think is uh, actually an enemy of the LGBT and trans community because of the way it's kind of hijacked these agendas. But, you know, the interesting thing about Dylan Mulroney is he thinks he's a teenage girl. It's not that he's just a trans person. He thinks, like, he's 13 years old and he dresses up like a 13-year-old and he goes, ah, I want to play with dolls. It's like, it's, it's crazy. There are many actual people out there in the trans community who, uh, I mean, I guess Caitlyn Jenner is one of them, who, who have some co level of common sense um you know i'll even i'll even call him a she in that in that case so yeah caitlin jenner is a republican talk common sense doesn't like woke politics speaks out against what's going on with the trans community for example so you know i think that's what's going on i just wanted to talk about it today you're welcome to uh share your thoughts leave your thoughts in the comments section and um you know um but obviously i think it's been a clear disaster and obviously anheuser bush has gone into um uh, what's the word, you know, damage control, um, you know, they're trying to spin it a different way, and I imagine I'll be doing some backpedaling, because obviously, um, Middle America was, uh, you know, one of the main people who bought, you know, uh, Bud and Bud Light, and I think the whole label is suffering because of this crazy decision. So there we are, this is this part of the clown world that we've been living in, and um, that's my thoughts today on the Report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.